this is Jonathan welcome back to the channel and another unboxing so today I just got in the mail MJ Kulane's Guardian of the Night Kulanani? Kulane <laughs> sorry MJ I'm totally mangling your last name I'm sure um, so I ordered this through MJ's website. This is the same creator who made the, um, the Crow Tarot. So this is another one of her tarots. So it's closer to a um, Oracle size deck. Uh, it starts with the world. Interesting. Okay. So. It's nice. I mean, it's it's not super thick, but I think it shuffle really nicely. So it looks like here we start with the world. Which is a bumblebee. And she's sending out the book that goes with the deck separately. So she can sign them. Here we have the Fool. Obviously here we have a rabbit on the ice and a wolf is going after and the ice is trying to crack under the wolf. So, do they continue? And chance falling through the ice? Or do they turn back? Here we have the Magician. I love this raccoon. They're definitely <laughs> magicianal type energy with their wily ways. Actually, I had a raccoon try and grab a bag of food out of my hand once. <laughs> oh, I love this high priestess, which is actually the cover of the box. Um. It is matte, but has a little bit of uh, gloss to it. So here we have the bat, which is gorgeous, hanging from the moon. Here we have the empress with the kit in the den. It's kind of interesting. I haven't really, well, I can't say I don't have any animal decks, but this is the second one in, uh, I guess, a week now. Yeah. Here we have the Emperor, Owl on his throne, with the ram in the background. So that's cool. This is a great hair print. <laughs> it's almost like the daddy rat is teaching his children bakeries are where to go. That's where all the goods are. And with the key, subtle key symbol in the background, that's cool. I like that. Here we have the lovers. Interesting how it's uh, two scorpions creating like a heart shape. Instead of an angel, we got this lunar moth. The chariot is a badger. Looks like he's going after um, some chickens. Strength. Snake and mouse. I love how the mouse looks like it's glowing. You see the heart going, right? When you have to be strong, you feel your heart the, the most. The hermit. The spider in its web. Wheel of Fortune. Very interesting image here. We got this snake surrounded by bats, surrounded by spiders. 
surrounded by looks like bats and owls. Justice is a bat. The hanged man is a possum. Very fitting. It's a fun image. Death. Oh yeah. Wow. So do you go out and, you know, tempt death, or do you stay trapped in the thorns without being able to grow, right? That's totally what I'm getting from this, but... Here we have temperance. Of course it's a frog. One leg on land, one leg in water. And then there's the cup overflowing. <laughs> the devil is a jackalope. You're okay, little miss. Someone's annoyed that I'd rather film instead of feed her. The tower. Oh, that's an interesting take on the tower. Because you get the, like, the nest up here, the nest here, and then you have the giant wood saw having cut through the tree at the bottom. So instead of a top down kind of bottom, we got a bottom up kind of tower. What did I just say? <laughs> instead of a top down tower, we have a bottom up. Tower. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I'm not sure what I just said. Star. I love the like subtle little details, like the bird sitting in the antlers. The moon. Very interesting image here. Fish leaving a trash can. There's like the towers are humanity encroaching, and the moon is hidden behind the towers almost. That's like a coyote. <laughs> now we have the sun, a puma, mountain lion. That's very appropriate. They are creatures of the sun, after all. It's almost like it's reaching down to pull the sun up. Judgment. Here we have a snake shedding its skin, being reborn. And instead of an angel with a trumpet, you have a bird singing. I just realized it's all thorns down in there. Now we'll go into the wands. The last one, the judgment. All right, because we start with the world. So we have Ace of Wands. Very interesting image here. A lot to, lot to pull out of that. Two of wands. And it's really the lioness who's the center here. And instead of a globe in the person's hand, you have like a moon overhead. I realize that there's a moon in every image here. <laughs> three of wands, carrying the wand with him. Then there's two, three. These wands are flowering though. Four of wands. 
Are those crones or magpies? Hopefully I'll see it in the book. I'm looking forward to getting the book and really diving deeper into these. The book was sent separate because MJ wanted to sign them all. Five of Wands. I'm see we have a beaver here whose sticks are getting washed away. Constant struggle, right? Build it, build the dam, have it wash away, build it again. Six of Wands. I'm getting a very King Julian vibe. <laughs> For those of you who have kids and know that kind of stuff. Well, you don't necessarily have to have kids. People into who have seen the cartoon. <laughs> Oh, I like this subtle detail here where the stabs are part of the gators. And then this is the like alpha gator protecting their, their kill, maybe? I'm not sure. Like, that's the thing is do you continue to fight off or do you turn and get the get the prize? Interesting. Eight of Wands. Yes, this is very appropriate. If you've ever seen a hawk dive, you definitely guess that Eight of Wands vibe. And it's interesting too that it's right to left, because normally it's left to right, this image. Nine of Wands. Porcupine. That fox seems to be struggling. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a moon in every image. Ten of Wands. Oh, we have Salmon jumping the waves, it looks like. There's a lot of detail, little tiny details on this. Here we have the page of wands. I think that's a blackbird. Yeah, no, you're not getting out, you know. <laughs> that desperately trying to open the back door. My husband being a vet, we make sure our animals are indoor animals because he sees all the things that happen to outdoor animals. Here we have the knight of wands. Wait, did we skip the page? No, no, blackbird. Sorry, I got distracted by my cat. Knight of Wands. Tasmanian Devil. That's my guess. Here we have the Queen of Wands. I love this little, little, like, the crown is a, um, a constellation over her head. King of Wands, again, you get that constellation. Very cool. Oh, just one moment. Let me get this cat to stop. Here we have Ace of Cups. I know, I annoyed you, didn't I? Poor kitten. Have the cup overflowing. I love the subtle details of the moon and the sun and the lotus blossom blossoming there with the heron standing on the side of the cup. Oh, isn't that sweet? I love this Two of Cups. It's a very mirrored image, though, isn't it? And you have the elephants filling each other's cups. Uh, nothing, nobody parties like raccoons. <laughs> Three of Cups. Here we have Four of Cups. 
pangolin. Oh, sorry about that. Let me fix this. There we go. Sorry about that. Five of Cups. We have the Death Head Moth. It's supposed to, like, if you see that moth fly, and it's a big moth, it's supposed to symbolize the death of somebody. I love the subtle little details of, like, the two fireflies and the cup to represent that the cup still has life in it, right? Oh, more elephants. Two baby elephants playing with the adults in the background. Oh, that's a sweet image. Seven of Cups. Ah, oh, this is great. I love how the cups themselves are constellations. And it looks like the moon is sitting in one of them. So you got moon, lion head. This one's upside down, spilling the key. This one's got a heart. This one's got a tree. This one's got the laurel wreath of victory. This one seems to be spilling out stars. Eight of Cups. I guess that tiger is off to follow the shooting star. Oh, and all the bones right there. Moving on to better hunting lands. Of course the Nine of Cups is going to be a peacock. That's so fitting. <laughs> yeah, I have the, the orchard next door has a bunch of peacocks. So It's actually interesting. The women rule in the peacock world. <laughs> Ten of Cups. You have... All the animals. I love the subtle little detail, like the seven pointed star. Are these like, oh, those are lightning bugs, fireflies. Oh, this is the Page of Cups, which is a capybara, the largest rodent in the world, and it actually. I've seen them in person down in Costa Rica, and they are so sweet. They are almost like, well, they're not really dogs, but they, they're, they're sweet like that, where they, they, they just want lovin's. It's very, it's very cute. They are kind of smelly, though. <laughs> Knight of Cups, the swan. Queen of Cups, Orca Diving Deep, and again you get that constellation. King of Cups, another Orca, but this one's balancing the cup on his nose. Here we have Ace of Swords. Get the laurel wreath of victory, and it's coming out of a lily? No, what is that? That's not a lily. That's a knight? No. It looks so familiar, but I'm having a total brain fart. I know my flowers, I swear. <laughs> um, then you have like the grasshopper down here at the bottom. Two of Cups. Looks like there's something under the water waiting to eat the froggy. Where does the froggy go? There's nowhere to go. Do I cling to the sword? Do I make a break for it? Very interesting.
Here we have Three of Swords. Interesting how there's chains there. And are these elephant tusks? Not sure. Oh, a little hedgehog. Sleeping in the winter burrow. Five, oh, wow. That's a heavy image for Five of Swords. Oh, humans and your need to cut down trees. I don't understand it. Trees give us life. Oh, I love this sea turtle. Six of swords. Swimming to better waters. Yep. It's like the sword here is pointing towards the better waters. And they're leaving behind that five of swords vibe. Seven of swords. Ooh. Is this like a black leopard with a bunch of regular lepers in the background grasping the sword and then there's two up there too I wanna, I'm looking forward to seeing the the book because I know she's going to go into a lot more detail so like I've heard her talk about this card eight of swords um, so with the eight of swords usually you see someone Surrounded by swords, tied up with a blindfold on, right? Well, here she kind of invokes that by having the swords be underground. And you're in a hole, too, with the swords and the roots. And what you're doing is you're looking up. And the owls are there to try and guide you out of the hole. Uh, there's a little... I see. There's this repeating pattern in the background that... Um, if you look behind the moon, there's eyes. And I've seen that in several cards now, but it's just dawned on me that it's eyes. <laughs> Nine of swords. Oh, that's another heavy one for me. The polar bear sees that things are not as they used to be. There is no hunting grounds like there used to be, but somehow she has to keep her cub alive probably keeps her up at night worrying about her baby Oof, I feel the heaviness of that for sure ten of swords oh that's another heavy one ten of swords we have um what is that a cattle bird I think knocked out the baby and then the mama is like been feeding the fake baby the magpie, no, not the magpie. Cattle bird, yeah, I think it looks like a cattle bird. So, cattle birds, I guess, are also like magpies where they kick out, like, the mama kicks out the old eggs and puts in her egg for the other bird to. That's, uh. Oh, I'm having another brain fart. <laughs> I've been studying a lot today, so my brain power is at minimum. So here we have, uh, it's not a weasel, it's a ferret maybe? Yeah, I think it's a ferret for the Page of Swords. Knight of Swords, we have Barracuda. They are pretty quick. Zip, zip, snip, snip. Queen of Swords, we have an owl, that's a gorgeous image. King of Swords, another owl, and then Ace of Pentacles, we have a barn owl. Just an amazing image. I wouldn't mind putting that up on my wall. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Here we have dolphins. Oh, and there's other 
pods of dolphins too in the water. These middle ones are almost, and I can see them in person, but on the camera they seem really faint. Three of pentacles. See, there's the, the eye pattern again. Oh, I see the wolves are working together. I love how the, all the animals are looking right at you. Four of pentacles. Is that a fox hoarding rabbits? Or maybe they're baby rabbits and that's the mama looking for it. For them. Five of pentacles. The caterpillar needs to go up to uh, form a cocoon, but do they go up and chance being eaten by the owl, or do they stay there and never grow beyond the, the caterpillar stage? That's an interesting take on the five. Six. Looks like a water buffalo and a cowbird, I think those are called. Oh, I see, and there's ticks. So, is that. So the bird's not only eating the bugs, but also like kind of taking part of the buffalo too. Interesting. Seven of Pentacles. Made many webs, now they just need to wait for an insect to be captured. Hmm, excuse me for yawning. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, here it's a paper wasp. Talk about repetitive work. Nine of Pentacles. The bears dreaming of fishes. Mm-hmm, it's a sweet image. Ten of Pentacles. We have bees harvesting pollen to create honey for the hive. Talk about an actual representation of a legacy. That's interesting. It's a very cool image, too. I love this page of pentacles. Octopus, I love octopus, octopi, cephalopods. <laughs> so smart. Nine of pentacles, we have the donkey. Or is that a mule? I think it's a donkey. Queen of Pentacles, we have a cow, I love the key here, and she still included the bunny, that's cool. And the King of Pentacles, a steer. So just out of curiosity, I want to see how well this deck shuffles. Cardstock is really flexible. Shuffle a few times and see what we get. Shuffle a few times before I try and bridge. For those of you who are just learning how to shuffle, sometimes you could just do that and then shove them back together if you're not comfortable with the bridge. 
these cards are a little slippery. Cards are a little slippery for shuffling, but they're not as slippery as like a full plastic deck. I have uh, a couple decks that have plastic cards and they're like, you try and shuffle and they go flying everywhere. See, they're a dream for the hand over hand people. But those of you who love overhand, I'm gonna love this deck for the overhand. Let's see what card we get for the collect. Ten of Cups. So, I think this deck, for me personally, this is telling me that this deck is going to be uh, emotionally fulfilling to use. And as far as a reading for the collective, it's it's. I feel like it's time for us to all come together. Yeah. So. That is the Guardian of the Night. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And um, let me know if you order this, what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you soon. Aloha.